Hi, my name is Ashish and in this video we will see what is Azure API Management. So I am starting the Azure API Management video series from now and you will see many videos regarding Azure API Management coming in from this video on. This is the theory section to let you know what is what are all the things that are associated with Azure API Management. Uh, moving on, we will see a lot of practical stuff, how to configure, process, develop, so on and so forth with the coming topics of Azure API Management. API Management helps organization publish APIs to external, partner and internal developers to unlock the potential of their data and services. Business everywhere are looking to extend their operations as a digital platform, creating new channels, finding new customers and driving deeper engagement with existing ones. API management provides the core competences to ensure a successful API program through developer engagement, business insights, analytics, security and protection. You can use Azure API management to take any backend and launch a full-fledged API program based on it. Each API consists of one or more operations and each API can be added to one or more products. To use an API, developers subscribe to a product that contains that API and then they call the API's operation subject to any usage policies that may be in effect. The common scenarios which are associated with this is securing mobile infra, by gating access with API keys, preventing DOS attacks by using throttling or using advanced security policies like JWT token validation. Enabling ISV partner ecosystems by offering fast partner onboarding through the developer portal and building an API fit to decouple from internal implementations that are not ripe for partner consumption. Running an internal API program by offering a centralized location for the organization to communicate about the availability and latest changes to APIs. Gating access based on organizational accounts, all based on a secure channel between the API gateway and the backend. Components of the API management API Gateway API Gateway accepts API calls and routes them to your backends. It verifies API keys, JWT tokens, certificates, and other credentials. It enforces usage quotas and rate limits. It transforms your API on the fly without code modifications. It caches backend responses where set up. It blocks call metadata for analytics purposes. Other component is Azure Portal. It defines or import API schema. It packages APIs into products. It set up policies like quotas or transformations on the APIs. Get insights from analytics. It also manages your users. Another component is Developer Portal. It reads the API documentation, try out an API via the interactive console, create an account and subscribe to get API keys, access analytics on their own usage. APIs and Operations APIs are the foundation of an API management service instance. Each API represents a set of operations available to developers. Each API contains a reference to the backend service that implements the API and its operations map to the operations implemented by the backend service. Operations in API management are highly configurable with control over URL mapping, query and path parameters, request and response content, and operation response caching. Rate limit, quotas and IP restrictions policies can also be implemented at the API or individual operation level. Products Products are how APIs are surfaced to developers. Products in API management have one or more APIs and are configured with a title, description and terms of use. Products can be open or protected. Protected products must, must be subscribed to before they can be used, while open products can be used without a subscription. When a product is ready for use by developers, it can be published. Once it is published, it can be viewed. And in case of 
protected products subscribed to by developers. Subscription approval is configured at the product level and can either require administrator approval or be auto approved. Then we have groups. Groups are used to manage the visibility of products to the developers. API management has the following immutable system groups. First one is administrators. Azure subscription administrators are member of this group. Administrators manage API management service instances, creating the APIs, operations, and products that are used by developers. Then we have developers group. Authenticated developer portal users fall into this group. We have a separate developer portal. The API portal in the Azure which is to manage and create, import the APIs. And then we have the developer portal as well. Developers are the customers that build applications using the APIs that we will develop. Developers are granted access to the developer portal and build applications that calls the operation of an API that you will create via the Azure portal. Then we have guest group. Unauthenticated developer portal users such as prospective customers visit, visiting the developer portal of the API management instance fall into this group. They can be granted certain read-only access such as the ability to view APIs but not call them. Then we have developers. Developers represent the user accounts in an API management service instance. Developers can be created or invited to join by the administrators or they can sign up from the developer portal. Each developer is a member of one or more groups and can subscribe to the product that grant visibility to those groups. Policies. Policies are a powerful capability of API management that allow the Azure portal to change the behavior of the API through the configuration. Policies are a collection of statements that are executed sequentially on the request or response of an API. Popular segments, uh, I'm sorry, the statements include format conversion from XML to JSON and call rate limiting to restrict the number of incoming calls from a developer and many other policies are available. Policy expressions can be used as attribute values or text values in any of the API management policies unless the policy specifies otherwise. Some policies such as the control flow and set variable policies are based on policy expressions. Developer portal. The developer portal is where developers can learn about your APIs, view and call operations and subscribe to the products. Prospective customers can visit the developer portal, view APIs and operations and can sign up on that portal. The URL for your developer portal is located on the dashboard in the Azure portal for the API management service instance. So now after this video we will do the lab sessions and here in the lab sessions I'll show you the different components that we discussed and the different parts that can be done. I hope you enjoyed this video. I'll see you guys in the next video. Have a good day.